Hello and welcome to this very special video that I have planned for you where we're going to be going over the Fibonacci time day of the 10th of November, the importance that this has inside of the Bitcoin market, how we have traded that $69,000 short on the 10th of November, today being the one year anniversary. And this is a video that has been requested oh so much. People are always asking me for more information on that $69,000 short, how we predicted the high, how we called it. and after after many months of requests, I felt today was the most fitting day to do it, seen as it is the one year anniversary of shorting $69,000. Today, after seeing that very large decrease in price, over 70%, of course, uh, today is the most fitting day for me to cover this, go over all the information and give you the insights that you're never going to see anywhere else. So today is a good day to learn. I hope that you are prepared to absorb the information that I'm going to be sharing with you, going over the importance of the 10th of November, fitting today that we've seen another 10% increase in price. <laughs> absolutely crazy. This day, you're going to absolutely learn to love as much as I do right now. Um, so I hope that you really enjoy this video. As always, I'm going to say block out all the distractions around you. Just focus on what I'm saying focus on the information that I'm going to share with you. You will gain some insights and knowledge from this video. Uh, I'm going to be sharing a lot of information. Um, and yeah, I just hope that you thoroughly enjoy it. It's one that I'm really, really honestly looking forward to present to you. Um, so yeah, we're going to call this the 10th of November, one year anniversary special. Uh, you've requested it long enough and I've finally decided to give it to you. So let's just get straight into it. So today you can see yeah, Bitcoin up up 10% on the day. Uh, really special that we actually see this. I like to see that. Uh, highly volatile day. Nice, nice pivot day. Um, but yeah, we're obviously going to refer back to exactly one year ago and what was going on uh, inside of the market, how we managed to take those $69,000 short positions and how that all stems from the intraday sort of harmonic that we had here. Obviously the high put in here on the 10th of November 2021, around 3 p.m. UK time, coming up and finally taking out that $69,000 high, ending in with the swing failure pattern. If you look at this chart, you know this is a fairly standard chart, but when you start to understand the higher term time frame importance of that level, we had the intraday swing failure pattern onto a high term time frame level that we had been waiting a year for. So let me go in and explain a little bit more in depth, okay? You're going to, I'm going to hopefully blow your mind. That's my aim of this video, to absolutely blow your mind and show you the power of technical analysis. Um, I remember so many times people saying fundamental analysis runs this market. It's all about the fundamentals. Trading is a gamble. Trading, you don't know what you're doing. Well, I'm going to prove everybody wrong with this video <laughs> and show you the power of trading. It's something that I love. It's my passion. It is truly my love. And I mean, I've, I've, I've given you so much proof that you can make millions and millions and millions of dollars from trading as I have and proven to you throughout the years and managed to achieve that. So let's start with the post from 2020, uh, where we obviously were at the time trading around $27,000. And, you know, I managed to get some targets. At the time, there was two main targets for me while we were sat at 27,000. Uh, had a target of 50,000, which we obviously hit and achieved. And our second target where was the big one at $69,000, which of course started to be the high. Had people here saying that would change my life if we come up and hit that level and come up and hit that level we did. Obviously, while I was giving that $69,000 target, which was based off of Fibonacci, uh, that was still over 150% away. And I said, so more millionaires to come. And the people that truly did pay attention, they really could have earned that millionaire status with the 150% increase in price to hit our next target. And then obviously over a 70% decrease in price since hitting that major $69,000 target. But this was a almost a year in advance recognizing those targets. And once I've set my eyes on a target, um, well, the, the, the rest is what you're about to see. It's not something I forget. As one year ago today, one year ago today, I reminded everybody, we've now hit that Set that, that, that last target that we had, this was our third and final target, $69,000. And in the time, I'm reminding everyone, this is, as predicted, I never forget about an important Fibonacci level. We have been waiting nearly 12 months, almost one year for this level. This is not something I'm going to forget. I had my alert set. Was my Fibonacci day onto my Fibonacci level 
onto the top of an Elliott wave count that I also had. I want to show you this prediction here. Okay, you can see here this was from an Elliott wave count that I had planned where we were looking for the B wave. Okay, and you can even see here it puts an initial high, a secondary high at $69,000 before the large decrease in price. So we had a few different things. We had the Elliott wave count to take out $65,000. So we put in the first initial high, retrace second high onto 69K, large decrease. I actually just want to show you how this played out, by the way, because we obviously got that increase in price got the decrease, second tie onto 69K, then the decrease. And that was what we were looking at in terms of that. See the increase, decrease, take out the high drop and how it happened, increase, decrease, take out the high drop. Okay, so that was in terms of, you can start to see how, the, how I'm building up levels of confluence. Elliott wave counts, I had the Fibonacci, um, Fibonacci extension levels, I had the Fibonacci time as well on the 10th of November. So I had like three, major high term time frame reasons to look for the short and then on the intraday obviously had the harmonic swing failure pattern taking out the high of a onto the $69,000 target so i had high term time frame targets here from year in advance to the fibonacci targets to the elliott wave count targets to the swing failure pattern targets to the failed auction targets to the harmonic intraday levels so i'm coming along here i'm finding confluence on a high term time frame and then building that down into a low term time frame confluence you understand so i have my higher term time frame levels have my alert set at sixty nine thousand dollars and then on the intraday i also get the levels and reactions that i'm ready and waiting for as you can see i just want to remind you what the space was like here while i'm openly taking shorts and this is a post from in the group just again once again on the 10th of november posting to my group this this is being filled i'm, I'm filling my shorts here at sixty nine thousand dollars. these filled shorts were filled all around that zone i had limits set at sixty nine thousand dollars, which obviously got filled and then i went on to market short market short market short market short which obviously gave me in the end the average entry of sixty eight thousand nine hundred. but i had shorts above sixty nine thousand dollars starting with limit orders and then i went into my market orders which gave me the average entry of 68900 this is obviously my main account this leverage has been increased the original leverage was not this high i also will give this as a little golden nugget this original leverage was lower but the reason why i increased my leverage is because that then frees up capital this is a swing trade on my main account which is a very high large position size very large position size and the reason why i'm increasing leverage when it's already a winning trade is that then frees up capital and margin that i can use on other trades okay this is obviously on the tether pair i want to use that tether to trade alts and so by freeing up that margin i can use it on other trades so obviously in the end um this was a very successful trade which which did call a high but it all started down there confirming to my team you can see uh, th this was kind of a funny comment on the day $69,000 ending up being the cycle top would be legendary well one year later $69,000 was the market cycle top and I think you can all say then that was pretty legendary what else would you expect from myself hey <laughs> what else would you expect from CC Paul but yeah, that was obviously great. We can also see other people getting into those short positions within the group around $69,000. Sky Times 50 short win it. You know, we, we've made a lot of happy people. What can I say? Um, but yeah, the main thing that I wanted to bring your attention to was what was happening on the 10th of November there. So it's like I wrote on this. This is again a tweet from the 10th of November. But while 90% while of the world are looking for $70,000, $80,000, $90,000, and $100,000 longing the Bitcoin breakout CC Paul were only talking about their short trades and how we're going to look to short this zone. And obviously say, uh, CC Paul, send their regards. Uh, thank you for feeling our short trades. But I just want to show you this and remind you what's going on here. Um, this is the swing failure pattern of the high. Okay, that's the harmonic target. This is our swing failure pattern. You got the drop and then you got the retrace into the CC. Okay, and then as we retrace into the CC, this is where you can go extremely extremely good short positions right because your invalidation is now above the high your invalidation of the short is above this high we've got all the reasons i've confirmed to everybody i'm short inside the group this is obviously for the champions group i've confirmed to everybody i'm short in the time i'm posting about the harmonic i'm posting in the time that i've taken these short positions we've hit the targets we've now got the retrace into the cc this is the time while everybody else is ultra bullish, we've got to be taking and have the confidence in these shorts. And 
if you check all the timestamps, everything on this was posted. That's the Titan validation. And that's where we get next target will be 69K. You can see here, 1416. Next level will be 69K. Okay, we're talking 15 minutes later, but please go and check the timestamps. Do your own research on this. 15 minutes later, we hit the high and we got the rejection. I then confirm in my group that I'm in that short position, okay, as taken. Okay, that was obviously the limit that I had filled from two days in advance. Okay, I was ready and waiting for that limit two days. And then I got filled two days later, $69,000. I was prepared, ready and waiting for that short. It was hit. I compounded it heavily on the swing failure pattern. I compounded it heavily on the retrace into the CC. And I had this very nice setup that has then given me overall head short positions. It's given me intraday sculpt short positions. It's given me swing trade short positions from the original high off of preset limit orders off of the harmonic off of then the intraday retest of the CC managed to get me into myself into in many short positions there all around that $69,000 obviously still holding that short today. Okay. But there's one thing that I just wanted to mention about. Yeah. And it was how on the 10th of November, you're getting freely posting this on Twitter. Everybody's bullish, right? Um, again, I'm not here to hate on people at the end of the day. I'm just, just reminding you what the market sentiment was and how do we call ourselves good traders at the end of the day. It's by following our own plans. It's having our own ideas and trading our own analysis. I was ready and waiting for this level 12 months. But guess what? Even if I'm ready and waiting for that level for 12 months, you, if you are not let's just say not a experienced trader, you can get swayed when you start to read things like this. Okay. You're going to read things like this. Are you ready for the 10 K plus daily candles? Everybody's getting ultra bullish while we're there around $60,000. All you see are bullish posts, bullish posts, a hundred thousand dollar targets. Everybody ultra, 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 ultra bullish, right? Everybody's ultra bullish everywhere. You look, it's just bull, 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 hundred K, hundred K, hundred K. Everybody even talking about 10K plus daily green candles. I'm ready for the 10K red candles. Okay. But you can understand how in a market that's so bullish, okay, how you could get scared to take that trade if you're not an experienced trader. Okay. So it's like, you know, I'm obviously proud. And I know some people are going to say, hey, Dan, you're, you're just trying to brag. I'm, I'm really not trying to brag in this video. I, I don't have any need to try and brag. I'm making this video to show you the power of First of all, technical analysis, how it truly called one year in advance the high at $69,000 using Fibonacci time, using Fibonacci extensions, using Elliott waves, all of it come together. That's what I'm trying to show you, the power of technical analysis. And then not only the power of technical analysis, but putting my money where my mouth is on every single time frame, opening my short positions with no hesitation, letting people know on the day. This is, this is where I'm shorting. This is where I'm filling my big short positions. Okay. And then it's ignoring all the moon boys, ignoring all the people that are ultra bullish right now and just saying, Hey, I have my plan. I'm going to trade my plan. Okay. And you can see myself and along with CC Paul, many of us took these shorts, $68,000, 700 on the CC retest, $68,000 on the CC retest. Okay. <laughs> CC pool again. Uh, you can see a lot of people inside of CC pool all getting into their shorts around that level. It was a very, very, very positive day. Indeed. $68,000. All of this on the 10th of November, we knew what we were doing. Hundreds of hours of contents to study daily streams and likely the group with some of the best traders in the world. I would lie if I say I'm at 1% of their level, but any more moon boy follower and signal group member would cry if they know how much gains that already makes me, you know, people are very happy with the content, right? People are very happy with what they were learning and just showing you why you need to stick to the plan. And, you know, <laughs> your free training has been invaluable. We're, 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 I'm giving you this video for free to show you the power to show you what was possible and how I was the first person in the world to not only call $69,000, but then trade, make the plan, trade the plan. And I, of course, I'm very proud of this. Okay. That's why we were still trading at 34. Well, today we see it. 17,000. So it's, you know, 
So I just want to do this last post and then I'm going to talk about one more thing about the 10th of November. I'm going to blow your mind with the next bit. I'm going to blow your mind. But, you know, just a few things to remember here. Everybody was so bullish up here. If you can remember, this was kind of funny because of Taproot. Taproot was like some Bitcoin upgrade and it was happening around there on November and everyone was ultra bullish. Coinbase getting listed on the stock market, I remember, was bullish for a lot of people thought it was bullish, ended in a drop. Then the Taproot upgrade, everyone was bullish, ended in a drop. Um, but, you know, that's how we called the $65,000 high using Fibonacci two years in advance. We obviously had the 50% drop to 28K, which we longed myself. Eagle calling the 28K low, absolutely crazy. We then longed 28K back up to 69K. I even say there it's still in November. The odds on 69K being the high again for a nice drop are high. Well, we got that nice drop. 69K was the high. And I was very, very, very confident. For the past year, I've been confident in getting these lower prices, right? Shorted $69,000 full confidence. You know, then remember if you're a champion, that $52,000 short of the swing failure pattern. I remember it like clockwork. Then the $47,000, $48,000 short, which was while we were forming that harmonic. Even I went on BitBoy's show on the day, if you remember, on BitBoy's show, right as we were hitting $48,000, telling everybody, hey, I'm bearish. I'm actually looking for a big drop here. This is for me the short. I got ridiculed for being short and bearish. And you know, it just goes to show once again, you've got to trade your own analysis. And I do that and I'm, and I'm walking away with millions of dollars of profit. So, um, yeah, that's that's how I wanted to explain how I foresaw that high, how I traded that high, how I stuck to my analysis, how all the step of the way I've been alerting my group inside of the Discord. OK, now I want to tell you one more thing about the 10th of November, because I think this is really amazing. This level here, 15,490 is the top of the daily candle of the 10th of November 2020. The 10th of November 2021 is where we put in the top. And then today, the 10th of November 2022 is where we've had a 10% increase in price after tapping the 10th of November 2020 high. OK, this is actually over a 10% increase in price. Excuse me, that's 10% on the day. Overall, since hitting the 10th of November 2020 high daily candle, that has been an increase in price of 15% to the upside. 15% to the upside. That's just absolutely crazy, right? This is the Fibonacci day, which is just outstanding. Go and do your own research and just verify this. But this basically is the 10th of November 2020 daily candle high. Okay. That then gave us our rise to the 10th of November 2021, where myself and many others were opening short positions. Okay. On the 10th of November 2021. Exactly as predicted, waiting for that level, that shortest level. Okay. And then to today, the 10th of November, the 10th of November 2022 is where we retest the daily high of the 10th of November 2020 and we get an instant 15% increase in price. Just look at this. Just look at this. This is the five minute chart. You get an absolutely massive, massive decrease in price. We're talking about from Oh, this was a level that we shorted as well, by the way. This was our this was also our short level. If you I've I've talked about this, but CC from high down to that low. We retest the CC there. Oh my God, it was so perfect. Taking the liquidity, retesting the CC. I called this short in my group, by the way. Uh, I've, I've done a lot of good calls over the, <laughs> let's just say over the past few years. But uh, yeah, this was also a short. But anyway, we, we took that short. We've worked our way down. We've worked our way down. We've worked our way down. And actually the low in the end was put in after retesting. And that's by the wick. That's just literally wicking onto that level. Instant bounce retest down here i still obviously thought there was a potential lower and I'm, overall i still think we can go lower by the way this bounce for me is not a signal find that the bottom is in yet but for me um you know we got to see some reclaims but basically what happened here was we had a daily level here we have a daily level down here okay we slightly front run that daily because of the 10th of november getting a retest but then we put high and then here is our high this is a higher low this is our higher high this is our retest of resistance, support, resistance into support. We've now seen our market structure change and we go off, we blast off. On top of that market structure change, I can show you a few different insights inside of my group. Um, but basically we also formed bullish divergences here. So during this whole drop, we had bearish divergences, bearish divergences, bearish divergences. This was the first time that we formed bullish divergences on a market structure change, on a reclaim locally with bullish CVD. 
okay obviously the stock market going up the dxy dropping all aiding that subsequent rise to come here is when you started to form the massive bullish cvd divergences literally minutes before the breakup i will show you this very briefly but um here we can see yeah here we can see how we were there at around 16400 8 a.m with bullish cvd divergences okay and then we're talking about 10 minutes later we get a big candle to the upside which gave us this this large candle to the upside okay so that is the rise that we've had today why that rise happened it was because of the retest of the 10th of november 2020 and then it was the change of market structure okay retest here with the big bullish cvd and then a subsequent rise to the upside uh, but yeah that was the video that i wanted to make you today showing you the importance of having a plan okay imagine this i've had so many people asking me during this downtrend like have you closed your short from sixty nine thousand dollars you know obviously if you're a champion you, you knew a lot of this information already right because you're in the group but this video is primarily for the people not in the group um just to show you the power um but of course i've been very you know very transparent i've not closed that six nine thousand dollars short i haven't even closed it today like i did not i've not closed it yet I, did, I still think this is the way that i'm approaching the market have we put in the low on the 10th of november 2022 well, of course, it's a possibility. But to confirm that, we need to see now a higher term time frame market structure claim. We need to start to reclaim some very important resistance levels. First of all, is going to be our point of control of the previous range, right? If we start to do that, we can have more confidence in the low and I can start to close this short position. But while we will maintain within the bearish market structure, I can still look for lower levels, right? We've got big target 13,000 down to nine. So thirteen nine thousand dollars are some targets if we reclaim market structure well then i can think wow the 10th of november crucial once again to the market but i need to see now some evidence in the chart and this 10 percent bounce is not enough for me okay it's not enough i need to actually see some reclaims and then i can start to have more confidence in that market structure change on a daily time frame or at least a sign of strength but for me until that happens i'll remain in that short and i've explained fully why I took those shorts, why I trade my plans, how I come about my plans, even from a lower term time frame intraday harmonic setup, how that played into a higher term time frame plan that I had one year in advance. That's how we do that at Chart Champions. This is how we trade the market. That's how myself and others managed to short this all time high. And well, CC Paul truly do send their regards in a very fashionable lovely manner i truly love you all i truly hope you've enjoyed this video i hope that you realize it was worth the wait and that's how we time the market cycles okay using fibonacci time using our extensions using all the tools that we teach of course over at chart champion so if you want the education if you want to learn learn the tools that help me time all the market cycles i teach that over in our courses this is courses from beginner to expert levels each video within the course is of course one hour long but then we have the speed run modules to basically go over a five minute you know a five minute speed run of the hour long course course module of course within here we also have all our templates all our cheat sheets all the glossary so you understand all the terms and now we're doing live trading streams so we got the live trading streams you got daily live streams you got my read only coaches only channels now where you can come in and see my you know thought processes we actually come down and tap that the lower list of the dollar by the way but yeah this is just what you get with inside the discord this is what you get with inside the um inside of the website you got all the education you got all the live trading you got everything to you know really put chart champions as the best service in the world right now in terms of educational live trading content in the cryptocurrency and and stock and forex markets so we're very proud of what we've achieved we're very proud of what we've how far we've come this year and um, looking forward to the next year to come so yeah if you want to be in on us with this journey if you want to get these updates if you want to understand these trades get that over at chart champions you can of course give a like to this video give us a subscribe we're obviously going to be giving away one hundred thousand uh, dollars very shortly so if you want to be in with that hundred thousand uh, dollar giveaway we're going to be giving it away to the people that need it the most we've had a good year of trading so why not give that away right um well that's what we do at chc pool we're going to make some people happy subscribe so you can follow that hundred thousand dollar giveaway uh, that will be done and we're going to give back as much as possible it's going to be a good year good things to come cc pool send their regards hope you've thoroughly enjoyed this video thank you ever so much hit the hit the sub hit the bell hit the like and i'll catch you in the next one cheers everybody thank you and
I absolutely love you all. Thank you and once again, goodbye.